All right, this is the second top eight semifinal match for uh, SoCal Regional. This is Dagra versus Kazunoko. Kazunoko, my favorite player, probably in fighters, either Kazunoko or Santa Fox. Dagra, another player who I respect a ton, but I don't know if Dagra has a set team that he 100% wants to play. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been. I haven't really seen Dagura play super often or recently. I need to watch more J Japanese Dragon Ball Fighters also. Like, I definitely need to watch a lot more of that. But, yeah, let's see how this goes. Dagura, uh using the Gotenks, Adult Gohan, Yamcha. Dagura is probably, at this point, you could argue he's the best player in the world. Because I don't know the last time Goichi or Sonic Fox has beaten Kazunoko. Then you have Dagger with the Kid Buu, the 16, and the Goku. Ooh, that was dirt. So, it looked like what happened there. He just super dashed, called out. He super dashes at him, calls out Gohan assist, which I can never get Gohan assist to hit like that. Gohan assist puts him in the black stun, and it's super fast, and he just air dashes forwards and heavies him. Which, to be honest, I don't know why Dagger is blocking low in that situation. Like, I feel like you can wait until he hits the ground and then block low, but yeah, he just gets destroyed, opened up straight away. Call out the ghost. Can he block? Oh, nice dragon rush. He wasn't ready for that at all because the last ghost didn't even come in yet. Call out the ghost again. Nice blocks. Oh my gosh, that's dirty. That's so disgusting. The Gotenks auto combo mix up. Just a true 50-50. You have to guess. He'll either... Open you up high, especially after Yamcha said, ooh, ew. Why did Yamcha even come out on that side? I was, I definitely, especially right now, I'm getting hit by everything. I have no react. Oh, I see, because he calls it out right there. He just wasn't ready for it. He takes the hits, I guess. Because it's less than oh, his dagger is getting destroyed at the moment. That's death. Gohan didn't even have to play this whole game. Gohan is probably his best character. Wow. Dagger is oppressing this guy. Oh my god, he thought he was going to go for Oh my goodness. Alright, let's rewind that back. Let's rewind that back. Dagger just moves around a lot. and he's I mean, not Dagger. Kazunoko just moves around a lot. You don't know what he's going to do. And you just get opened up by... So he eats the he eats the Yamcha assist. He thought he was gonna go for the Cause I guess he thought he'd jump fast fall. Jump fast fall, jump fast fall into Dragon Rush. I think he thought he was it is that what he was gonna do. But he jumped fast fall, jumped side switched heavy. And yeah, he just he is he dead from the sparking combo? No way, right? No, he's dead. He he already has.
He's not dead. He's not dead. He's d no. He's dead. Oh, baby. And that's how you open up your semifinals match. That's why I said Dagger is potentially the best player in the world. He made, I mean, not Dagger, Kazunoko. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Kazunoko is potentially the best Dragon Ball Fighters player in the world. He made Dagger just look. All right, let's just watch this all over again. Because that wasn't that. That wasn't that fast. I mean, that didn't take too long. That was, that was two minutes. That was exactly a two-minute match. So he already he already messed, he he already loses neutral in this situation. He should have when he connected with Super Dash. I feel like he should have just caught sixteen. He's the Dragon Rush. Like every single assist. It seemed like Dagger used, he just got the utmost out of it. Assist opens him up. Assist opens him up. And then he takes this, so he doesn't have to. I'm assuming he takes this, so he doesn't have to. Ooh, that was unfortunate. That was Dagger swinging for the fences. That was the, I gotta hit him somehow. And then here, he just... Goku just didn't know what to do. That was the first assist that didn't really... Let's go back. Let's go back and... And see, though. So, that's... Assist pretty much was kind of a whiff. He, he, oh my goodness. Man. He thought he'd fast fall. See, see, that's why, in my opinion, you don't guess. A lot of people say that in Dragon Ball, you have to guess. I think, in my opinion, everything that happens here, you could react to. That's just my opinion. Would it be hard to react to it? Yes. But because he was anticipating so much because he had no idea what Dagger was going to do. So he was just hoping that he would just guess right. He just gets opened up a bunch of times. Now there are certain things like the Gotenks auto combo that is just like, I don't know. You kind of have to guess that, I guess. But even that, I think you can somewhat react to. But, man. It just seemed like Dagger just did a horrible job at reacting to anything on defense whatsoever and just got punished for it. Now, I didn't even know this was a thing that could happen. Like, uh, Kazunoko's team was untouched. He just got absolutely washed. Kazunoko is still... Like if you if you looked, you wouldn't even know Kazunoko just perfect to someone. You wouldn't even know he won the game. He's just focused. All right, and right now Dagger is doing infinitely better than he did last game, but he gets opened up again by the first assist. Here comes a ghost. Well, he block. Now he didn't even. He takes a hit. Alright, and he gets a hit. Oh 
my god. Machine gun punches to the temple. And that's death. Nice change. He just wasn't ready for that. Oh, geez. Get the neutral assist out of here. Decommits from the pressure because he has no more assist. He tried to wait for a reflect, I believe. Nice two, uh, nice five H for the armor. This is the first mix up Dagger has a block on a day. And he doesn't even have to block it because he's just gonna spark. He's like, I didn't need spark. Well, I guess he did need spark to end it. Jesus. I don't know what's going on here. But Dagra is just not having a fun time at all. He, he, oh, Dragon Rush. Oh, man. He's going to spark here. He's going to, ah, he didn't spark. Wow, th what the heck? Nice blocks. Ooh. Can only block for so long, though. You have to spark. You have to. Oh, my gosh. Did not respect the Amcha assist. Here comes a ghost. Level three? No. Ooh, nice. Level three right here. Now, will he do the stand there and Kamehameha you? Ah, uh, nah, he, oh, Ah, he tried to go for the double overhead. Ooh, happy birthday. This is huge. Alright, this is doable. Ooh, double overhead. Yeah, this is doable. It's gonna be super hard. Up, oh, and now it's not doable anymore. GG's. Kazunoko destroyed Dogger in these games. Um. Kazunoko's mix ups is just insane. As yes, I saw. Gohan has infinite pressure in the hands of a mad genius like Kazunoko. It wasn't even Gohan, actually. Gotenks, Gotenks. Kazunoko just showed why auto combo mix ups with these assists. Auto combo 50 50s is just dumb. That's what Dagger said. He's like, these tools are stupid. I'm going to show you why. All right, that's what Kazunoko said. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these VOD reviews. This is Kingdom 7 signing out. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe, like the video. Peace.